Alright guys. Dr. Burr gets censored. Silenced. As I used to uh, watch so this guy a lot. And um, apparently he has some bad news guys. Considering like YouTube and alternate health. So we're going to have to see what this is about. We're going to have to see what this is about guys. Um, let's check it out. Oh, dramatic. Okay, okay. He's got like some uh, tape over his mouth. Well, it's official. YouTube has just now banned anything just now to health that doesn't align with the general medical. No, man. Are you serious? Consensus. So, if any information related to health doesn't agree with the World Health Organization, bro, I, I was scared of. Uh, I'm scared about recommending vitamin C. Thankfully, I don't do anything like that. But this guy's like an actual doctor. But like, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm, guys, I, I got scared of YouTube man cracking down on stuff like this, guys. Cause like, one time I said, hey, don't take too much caffeine. I edited it out just cause like I don't have the credentials to, like, you know, say talk on like stuff like that. You know, it's generally known that you know. But anyways, I don't want to talk too much. Let's keep watching. They won't necessarily always take down the, the video, but they're going to change the algorithms. So they're going to replace the... Nah, bro, so literally shadow banning. Those ...videos that were popular, that had lots of likes and lots of engagement with medical information. This new partnership with YouTube is supposed to protect you against... Smart spot partnership with, between who, guys? misinformation and promote high quality health information and their definition of misinformation is anything that opposes their viewpoint uh, snap guys straight up i mean if you go to drberg.com i mean it's better than having your videos removed though com you will see that i have 7607 success stories i'm helping people I'm giving people a lot. Oh, I was about to say, you made 7,000 videos? 7,000 videos? You know, we'll get to 7,000 videos probably within like a year or two, guys. Granted, my videos don't take as long as his, his videos do to make, but... Lots of non-toxic solutions. And if you just read the comments, you'll see that a lot of people are being helped. So my information is not... I mean, yeah, his videos did help me, bro. Like... Made a video about dry fasting and stuff. You know, uh, I thought it was good. Dangerous. It's not misinformation. It's actually quite helpful. And this new change is going to hurt a lot of people because they're not going to be able to find alternative viewpoints, alternative opinions. Sometimes medicine doesn't work. You know, looking for inexpensive natural remedies to handle certain body issues. True, true, guys. But guess what? Now they're going to have a very difficult time finding those solutions because all these medical sites are going to replace alternative health. I mean, I... Hey, uh, I'm sure they do it with the other content and stuff, but here, here they're, they're coming out and blatantly saying they'll, they'll do it, though. Again, still better than losing the channel, though. For so Thank many goodness. conditions. Now you can't even find me unless you type Dr. Berg slash whatever. And even on the keto diet. I'm sure uh, I'm sure some stuff will still be recommended guys you know what I mean if they search it but we'll have to check we'll have okay. to see if it even if it pops up now guys or something have 900 and I just realize like the top half of it, the top row of his teeth are way more white than the bottom half 28 keto videos that's right 928 videos holy Guess smokes what? when you type keto diet you can't find me instead the f number one ranked video is from mayo clinic okay and the comments are turned off and you can see the likes are actually not very high compared to the number of views i think they have like two hundred and sixty thousand views but very few likes and it's an anti dang bro anti-keto video and i'm going to share some interesting things in that video but i first want to communicate a couple things you know a long time ago when google started they had this motto and that was do the right thing Pretty simple motto. And then they changed it to don't be evil. What the heck with Google? And now I don't even I don't even know what if they have a motto. But <laughs> I've never heard of their 
Motto guys from Google, man. Google is my, my employer, man. Just giving people this one medical viewpoint, this monopoly over your body, your healthcare. You think that's going to increase the quality of health? I mean, basically this move is going to wipe out the competition and competition competing viewpoints and opinions are very, very good in the healthcare field because it forces everyone to raise the bar. And do I'm sorry, these slides are a little bit, uh, did not expect just like moving slide after moving, moving slide here, guys. Better at getting results. And how do we trust this medical group? Uh, with all the strategic his videos are usually not something like this alliances or at least maybe maybe recently they are but and the strategic partners the strategic alliances with big pharma and how they partner with medical universities and medical journals how do we trust that like i said before their definition of misinformation is basically any information that opposes the medical their mind should be then don't spread misinformation or something, right, guys? Viewpoint, the medical consensus. How do we make sure they're transparent with all the conflict of interest, the strategic alliances and the strategic partners and what they call the stakeholders, which some of them are part of industry. And of course, the revolving doors with all the directors. It's terrible. It's terrible. And I think it's going to hurt a lot of people because freedom of health information is really freedom of speech. And it's a very slippery slope. The more you start filtering out other opinions, other viewpoints. So Guys, well, let me know what you think about this whole like YouTube, like, uh, you know, pushing his videos down the, um, the search rankings, guys. This video has a lot more views than his, uh, you know, other videos currently like two, two, 2.3 million views on this video, man. 2.3 million, that's so much for this channel. It's not amazing, amazing, but it's good. It's very good. So many people go on the internet because they have not gotten results with certain types of... Same here, same here, man. I've been I'm always trying to look something to cure my, like, lungs, man. Can't believe I messed them up so young, bro. Don't smoke, guys. I mean, sorry, sorry for giving medical... But... <laughs> medications and they're trying to find alternatives so if someone wants something that's non-toxic okay or something that's natural or a do-it-yourself remedy that is all considered dangerous misinformation yeah it's just terrible but it's not just me it's all the other alternative healthcare practitioners anyone who uh, comments on nutrition even the lay person who uh, wants to share their viewpoint on health they're, they're not going to rank and this doesn't just hurt me or them. It hurts the person trying to find the right knowledge. We're going to be pretty much stuck with just one way of treating the body. Damn, bro. I mean, I don't think it's like that entirely, guys. His, it's just his videos are just going to, it's just a shadow ban. Let's go on to the next thing, though, here, guys. This is a long one. Number one for the ketogenic diet. Check this out. According to Dr. Google, the most searched question of 2018 was, what is the keto diet? Now, the reason I'm bringing this up, and this was even four years ago. Yeah, bro, okay. Keto is very popular. People are searching for it. The bottom line is the more people that get on this diet, the less medication they're going to need because it handles so many issues. Instead of carbs for energy, the body... All right, guys, uh, I'm done with this video. <clears throat> We got the gist of it in the, the first few minutes here. Uh, you can watch it in the description if you want. Thank you for watching, okay, guys? Uh, I'm just not that much into the medical community right now, so... I don't have that much of a passion for researching is it because, you know, I don't have that much time. We're doing a lot more reactions and stuff, so I don't have that much free time. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, yeah, just the slides are kind of setting me off here, guys. So, see you guys next video. Peace out, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe.